Have you ever set a budget and no matter what you figured out, you just couldn't keep it? You knew you had to have your numbers in a specific place, but every time you turn around, there was just something else that you had to have. Well, over the course of this week, that's exactly what happens to me, and I blew my budget all to pieces. So stick around and see everything that I picked up. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the journey. This week, I have picked up a lot of silver, in terms for me anyway. Uh, somewhere around 17, 18 ounces of silver this week. So I've got a lot to show you, a lot to go over. So I hope that you can stick with me till the end and see everything that I got in. Of course, the first few things that I had picked up over the course of this week actually came in the mail. I had done a trade with Sean Covert for some bars to help me to complete my guardhouse box. Those came in and I did show them on the uh, mail call, and but I'll show you them again here because they are weekly pickups for this week. And first, we've got this Nader bar. Nader and the deer, not exactly sure how you pronounce it. It did not properly fit in this capsule and I had to trim the edge of the capsule off to get it in there. And so I'm actually having to hold a little bit of tape on the edge to make sure that this doesn't just fall out. But it was part of the trade that we did. I sent him uh, a few pieces of Inglehard that were still in their wrappers and uh, I got some stuff to help me complete my box. So this would be the first one for that. Of course, there was also a wonderful dragon bar. Uh, these are put out by the Perth Mint. I did not have this one, but I am a sucker for just about anything with a dragon on it. Absolutely beautiful piece, and I was so thrilled that he made this available and uh, was willing to send it off in the trade. It's absolutely phenomenal. And last but not least from that trade was this American flag bar, and this was made by Atmex. I absolutely love this. This is gonna make regular appearances in my videos. You can see I have a flag bar right here and I have another one right over here. And I think this is gonna take one of those spots. It's an absolutely beautiful design and I'm so thrilled to have it. Up front, those were intentionally gonna be put into the guardhouse box to complete them. But the dragon bar and the flag bar just aren't gonna make it in there. So it, the flag bar is gonna replace one of these. So one of those will go in but I did pick up some other bars this week, so we will still be able to get that uh, guardhouse box complete. On Friday, before I went over to work, I knew I wasn't gonna be going to see Mr. Warren on Saturday uh, because I was going to the coin show. Uh, so I stopped by Friday morning on my way in uh, just to take a look and see what he had, and I also wanted to put some money into my gold account. And so I popped in, and of course uh, I got there before he did, um, but as always, I helped him get everything set up, and then I took a look inside of his case. And uh, he had plenty of stuff there. The pickings were quite good. Um, his gold was starting to get a little bit on the low side, but I wasn't in there for gold. I was in there for silver. Um, so I was looking through his case and I did pick up a few things while I was there. And we'll start off with this one right here. Um, it is a, a presidential, 45th presidential Donald Trump. And then of course, on the other side, we have the Eagle and Shield. And uh, he had just gotten this in the day before. And so I was happy to pick it up and add it to my stack. And next I picked up this one here. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. It does have basically the Virginia seal on the back of it. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. I really liked the design on it. And so I had to pick it up. Um, I don't know all the details on it. I actually haven't taken the time to look just yet, but it was a pretty cool piece. It's got a really nice uh, patriotic theme to it. And so I was uh, absolutely thrilled to get it. And then oddly enough, he had some fractional. Um, and generally, I like to get my fractional from him when I do get it, because he usually sells it for his basic bullion price. And uh, he had uh, a couple little bags of fractional, and I put them into these uh, capsules, as you can see. But there was a whole bunch of these little one grammars, and every one in there is different. Those were absolutely awesome little pieces. I couldn't pass them off. I had to bring them home. But then he had these. And each one of these are five grains. So they are absolutely tiny. Phenomenal little things. I absolutely love them. Um, so now I'm going to have to get another one of these little chests. They have them in a couple different colors. But I'll get one to start putting all my fractional in. But until then, I'll keep this stuff right here in these capsules. Uh, I didn't mention how much I paid for those. I actually paid uh, $60 for the two pieces and the fractional all together. So it was a phenomenal deal. And uh, I was really happy to pick that stuff up. Wonderful pieces. As always, Mr. Warren is always doing me right and always giving me wonderful deals. I absolutely love going to see him. 
I also did make stops over Camel Coin of Stamps and Silver Eagle. Uh, I still haven't popped by Newcastle Coins. I do plan on going this Friday. I haven't stopped over there in a few weeks since I've been working all the extra hours. But uh, now that things are starting to ease up on me, um, I'll be able to go over there and pop in and say hello. So I do plan on doing that this Friday and uh, we'll see what we can find. Just to, if, if nothing else, just to pop over and say hi. Um, I did not get anything when I popped over to see uh, Larry and Cindy. I just wanted to say hello to them and uh, ask them a few questions about a dragon round I had picked up last week. And it was the one that I've got right there in the shelf. And uh, I've gotten a lot of questions from folks asking me um, who made it, where it was from, and any kind of details. Because um, apparently a lot of folks can't find it. And I myself went to look and, and I can't find it either. Um, apparently, from what I have found, it is distributed by Canadian PMX. Um, it is now not on their website. The bar version is, but the round is not. But I did talk to Larry and uh, Cindy, and they do ship. And uh, of course, and they did have them at $28 on Monday. So give them a call over there, see if they still have any left. Like I said, they had a couple tubes of them still. And uh, if you're looking to get one, they'll ship one out to you. Of course, their contact information will be down in my description as it is in all of my videos. But when I popped over to Silver Eagle, uh, they were um, halfway busy. They had a couple customers. Um, I wasn't looking to get too much. Again, I just like to pop in and say hello, see how everybody's doing. Um, but I ended up picking up a, a couple pieces of silver. Um, first off, I did pick up a three quarter ounce piece. Um, I thought it was pretty neat. Three quarter ounce. Argent pure, Argent pur. I can't pronounce that, but uh, it does have like a coat of arms on it. And we have the lion and the phoenix. I do believe that, that was what that is. It does it is a Canadian piece, got some uh, milk spotting on it, but how much I paid for it, I'll be honest with you, I do not remember. But uh, it was a cool little piece, even though it's three quarters an ounce, I'm still happy to have it. I also picked up a couple silver bars while I was there. They had two of them in stock, and so I grabbed both of them. And these are both Easter bars from 1977. I have been wanting to get another piece with a crucifix or a cross, and I want to do that every year, a new crucifix or cross every year for the videos. Um, I've had this one here in all of my videos ever since I got it, and every year I'd like to get a different one to run the next year with. And so this uh, will be the replacement, and it will be in uh, all my videos going forward until February of next year. So that means since I've got two, one of them is going to go into the guardhouse box. In terms of what else I've done, um, I haven't done a whole lot. I've just basically been working and trying to get things sorted and trying to get my uh, budgets correct for uh, buying things for the uh, the coin show. But as you can see, I had already gotten several things and I hadn't even gone to the show yet. Um, so I was already basically tearing into uh, my funds for the show and uh, it wasn't the end of it. It just kept going when I got to the show itself. So let's talk about that trip there. <laughs> Nice quaint little show. There's there's the top of stack of tax hair. <laughs> so yep, I picked up all kinds of goodies. So I'll show y'all. Oh look, you get the sneak sneak peek, sneak peek. <laughs> Um, of course, on Saturday, I got up bright and early and headed on out because it's a little over a two hour drive for me to get to the fairgrounds in Raleigh, North Carolina. And that is where the coin show was. And uh, most of them that I go to are located in the same place. Um, of course, I was going to be hanging out with Chuck Stacks and Silver and Gold Stack Attack. And both of them did show up and we all spent the day together hanging out. We got some, plenty of fun over at the show. And uh, then we all had uh, hung out, had lunch over at Chuck's and just got to see some amazing things. It was a rather small show, but uh, I picked up a whole lot more than I had planned. Um, I went with around a $200 budget, and I had already started digging into that with some of the things I'd already picked up throughout the week. And uh, what I can say to you is uh, my show stack is, uh, is pretty good, so I got all of this at the show. So let's go through all these one at a time. And first we'll show a couple that I actually uh, picked up that were not silver. I did pick up a couple of large cents. Um, let me go ahead and pop them out of here. All right, and so first we have an 1810. As you can see, it is in quite rough condition, but um, it was um, a very readable date, so I was happy to buy it. I did pay $5 for it. 
So this one is absolutely going to be getting added to my collection of large sets. And he had another one from 1848. As you can see, it's got a big old hole drilled into it, but that's okay. It's very legible and it's actually got a lot of detail still on it. Um, if this was to get sent off and graded, of course it would come back damaged, but that is okay. I'm not going to be sending this off. It's just another awesome addition for that collection. I love finding these when I can get them at a good deal. And now for the silver itself. Um, there were a lot of silver vendors in there or a lot of uh, coin vendors in there that I'm used to seeing at these shows. Um, this show from this time around is actually held by Rare Coins of Raleigh, which is um, a local store in the area. And uh, they were there, of course, but there were several others as well. And one of them had a pretty good selection of kookaburras, as you can see right here. Kookaburra, kookaburra, kookaburra. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We picked up three new kookaburras for the collection. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, oddly enough, he had several that were all dated 2009. I was completely unaware of that phenomenon. I did not know that they had a whole bunch of different ones uh, made in 2009. Um, and I did pick up some kookaburras while I was there. And so let's go over those now. And the first one I picked up was the 1991. This is the second year that these were produced. I already had the 90, the 92, and the 93. So this fills that little gap. Um, it is getting some toning on it. And the price on this was 45. I hope you can see it. It does have some beautiful blue and purple toning around the edging. Um, but his pieces over there were 35 for shiners and 45 for toners. So it was an extra $10 premium just because it had toning on it, which I've absolutely never seen at a coin show before, but it was a kookaburra that I needed. And so I was happy to get it and add it to my collection. And next is this kookaburra from, as you can see, 2009. A reverse proof finish, which is one of my favorite finishes of anything. I absolutely adore reverse proof. And this is absolutely beautiful. Wonderful piece, 2009, a new kookaburra for the collection. But this was not the standard 2009. The uh, standard 2009 was this one. And so this one, of course, is a part of the series, part of the date run. 2009 Kookaburra. Um, absolutely beautiful as always. These things are phenomenal. Um, I have, <laughs> I've got so many of these, it's hard to keep up with which ones I need, but um, having that uh, listing on my community page that many of you asked me to do really helped out when I went to this coin show because I had a reference for the ones that I had. So there we go. Two more Kookaburras. This one is actually part of the regular date run. I still have to figure out why there were so many um, 2009s, but there we go. Two more for the collection. We did walk the entire room and get to see everything that was in there. And uh, there wasn't actually many folks that were selling bullion. It was mainly just coins, but uh, right at the front door was a gentleman selling um, quite a bit of bullion actually. And he had a few things in there that I absolutely couldn't turn down and I was happy to get them. So let's go over those now. And we'll start off with the half ounce Year of the Dragon from the Perth Mint. I have the two ounce version of this that was sent to me by good old Akadaka. I also have the one ounce version of this that I recently purchased myself, and now I have the half. So I have basically all three of those. There's still the 10 ounce version I don't think I'll ever get, but this is a phenomenal little piece. I was happy to get it. Um, I do believe this was $20, so I was a uh, little on the pricier side, but that's just the way it goes when you're buying fractional. Phenomenal addition. And the next was a Year of the Dragon from the Golden State Mint. I have not seen this one before. He had it in there for 30, and so of course I snatched it up. As I said earlier, I, do, I am a bit of a sucker when it comes to uh, things with dragons on them, so I was happy to get it. Um, the price wasn't too bad at 30 and uh, he had a few of these in here. I just needed one and I was happy to add it to my collection, to my stack. And the last couple of things that I picked up while I was at this show, um, he had these in here for $40 a piece. I'll be honest with you. I still haven't looked to see if that's the going price or not, but I couldn't turn them down. And what were those? It was the colorized version of the Perth Mint Year of the Dragon. I did post these on my Instagram to show folks what I had picked up. And uh, yeah, absolutely phenomenal. 
They were, like I said, $40 a piece. Phenomenal, wonderful pieces. And what I was thinking is, well, I've got two of them. So I am looking to eventually get this set as well in the colorized. I have this one. And then of course I have the one that I'd picked up from Akka or that Akka had gifted to me. And so that means I've got one of these that I can trade for one of the other colorized. So if anybody out there is like, would like one of these and you have one from the set that I don't have, reach out to me and we'll see about doing a trade. And that'll complete what I had actually picked up at the show. Um, but it wasn't the end of the day after we left there. We headed over and hung out with Chuck at, uh, at his place for lunch. Had a great time and just had some wonderful conversation. It's always great to hang out with the guys. Um, I can't wait to get to go over and see him again. The next show is going to be in June. And that one is the biggest one of the year. It is the Raleigh Money Expo. And last year there were somewhere around 200 tables. And hopefully there will be that or more this year. We'll see how it goes. I am looking forward to it and I will be there. And uh, there's several of you that... Um, we have learned that are actually in the area. And so if you'd like to meet us, come on out and uh, in June and hang out and say hello. My Sunday was pretty uneventful. I just went on and did my normal stuff for work. And uh, of course, that was it. Nothing really to speak of. But on Monday, I actually popped in to go see Mr. Warren because I had forgotten to go ahead and put some money in my gold account on, on uh, Friday. And so I popped in there to do that. I did add $80 to my gold account with him. And so... Uh, that was supposed to be all I was doing, but he had a couple more things that had came, come in on Saturday and uh, I just couldn't turn them away. And so once again, I bought some more silver for this, uh, for this week's um, silver haul. And first we have this silver shield bar. I absolutely love this design. It's quite a beautiful piece. Silver shield, friends, skills, wealth. And then of course on the back, we have the Den of Thieves not federal, no reserve. Uh, he sold this one to me uh, at 30 and I was happy to pay it and happy to add it to the stack. That should have been the end of the conversation for, and ready for me to head on out. But uh, he had one more little thing in there that he popped up and had to show me. And it just turns out the other day I was just speaking to somebody telling them that I really need to get myself a silver card. Uh, he had one of these come in. He sold it to me for $30. He did still have the certificate and a little pouch for it. And like I said, I did pick it up for 30. Um, it's an awesome little thing. I had never seen one of these uh, in person, except for maybe a show sometime late last year. But uh, they are very sharp on the edges, but it's an awesome little piece. Um, it's just something I was literally just speaking to somebody the other day about wanting to get one. And boom, here it comes. Here's one ready for me to buy. So it was a no brainer. I snatched it up and now it's a part of the stack. So all in all with the fractional and everything, that's around 17 ounces this week. Um, but I also did get in the wonderful little gift from Raven Ivy. This itself is almost two ounces. It is uh, 1.96. And she did send this as a gift from a uh, purchase that I had made with her last week. And if you include this, it puts me at 19 new ounces to the stack this week. So things have been uh, quite full, quite busy. That's a lot of silver for me in a week, and uh, it's phenomenal. But the downfall is this coming week is going to be quite a bit of a tight budget. So I'm hoping that I can control myself and uh, not spend too much. Um, but it is what it is, and I'm happy to show you all all the wonderful things that I've gotten. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think of all the things that I've gotten in. Um, what do you think your favorite piece is? Out of all these, I'd probably have to say the Kookaburras. And of course, the, the piece from Raven is absolutely phenomenal. It's a wonderful gift. Um, the dragons, there's, there's just so many things, uh, you know, I just can't choose one solid one, but either way, they're all wonderful additions to the stack. I do want to thank all my new, uh, channel members. I now have eight members and I thank all of you. Um, and I do want to thank you for your patience. Um, I've been working so much over the last several weeks, uh, well, actually pretty much over the last month that I haven't been able to put out a whole lot of specialized content for you guys. But since uh, I'm going to have my weekends again, I will start putting out some stuff for y'all on Sunday and uh, hopefully we can get some stuff uh, worked out. A um, few other things that I've got planned. Hopefully we can get some stuff done. Um, I also like to thank all the new subscribers. We're up over 1800 subscribers. Things are moving quite well and uh, we're going to do quite the giveaway at 2000. 
Uh, so we're going to do a giveaway for that. And I am looking forward to deciding what all we're going to give away. We're going to do something uh, quite special and hopefully you all enjoy it. But again, I do thank you all for taking a few minutes to watch the video. And as always, remember to follow along on my silver journey. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.